everybody, this is Joel and Paul from movingtomexi.co. Bienvenidos a nuestro canal and bienvenidos a Usarias and Paninos. Paninos. Yeah, Paninos is, uh, well this is their little satellite location. It's just like a small little coffee hub, let's call it. Yes. Um, but they also have a big restaurant and we've done, have we done, we've done an episode there. At the, uh, the restaurant near where I live? Where you live. I don't think so. No? I don't think I so. I thought we... Oh, maybe... Oh, we gotta do that then one day. No, we yes. did. We did? We did for sure. Because I remember one of the waitresses was like really keen and helped us out. So we def definitely did, but it was like long ago. Okay, I don't remember. And then there's one in Nuevo Vallarta. But I always eat there. Yeah. yeah. So, anyways, it's we'll go back. Uh, maybe we'll go visit the Nuevo Vallarta one. But they used I, to have one over in like... Uh, the Re romantic Bucerias. zone in Bucerias, right? Yeah, and the that, uh, they just moved. Yeah. But I think they put a bunch of money into this new location in Vallarta. It's like, oh, okay. a, it's like a monster restaurant. Oh, uh, okay. Um, and and one, one in Sayulita, too. Oh, that's right. There is yes. one in Sayulita, too. Yeah, I think they could do well uh, in Cuatro Estaciones, too. But we're starting to reach out. Um, I'll send you these, uh, I'll send you a little video, but here is the snippet of what the potential restaurant uh, will look like at Cuatro Estaciones, and it's uh, it's pretty darn cool. So we're looking for a restaurant operator. We do need another good restaurant here, hey Paul? Absolutely. And you there's, can move in there. There's plenty, yeah. but we could always use another. We could use another. <laughs> and, and that one we're prepared to give two years free rent for the right operator, just because I want a really good restaurant in that space. and. Uh, I want another restaurant here in, in Bucerias, so I'm going to give away, not give away, but give two years free rent uh, to the right operator. So go onto our website and contact me on that one. But anyways, enough of that. What day is it today? It is Taco Tuesday. You know what we got to do, Paul? Uh, eat tacos. Yeah. We gotta, <laughs> well, we got to go get a cafe here. Yes. Uh, un americano. Okay. Uh, y un um, espresso doble. Claro. El americano va a ser grande o chico? Chico, con un poquito de leche. Just under two bucks, eh? For two yeah, coffees. Yeah, not bad. I've got Jillian's new car here. Oh, perfect. So we can take a little boot in that, and Where maybe go up to a town called Valle de Banderas. Because uh, I've well, I've been through there lots of times on my bike, but I've never stopped for any kind of tacos or food. Uh huh. So I thought let's just go become taco hunters. Taco hunters. Taco Valle hunters. Valle de Banderas. Valle de Banderas. And so it's not Bahia, it's Valle. Valle de Banderas. Valle. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay. That's really cool. And we just had some rain yesterday, so... Yeah, it's, kinda, uh, it rained a lot. Yeah, last night, eh? It started pouring. Yeah, I, uh, I kind of woke up around midnight or something, just something startled me. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I could just hear the rain, but it was like we needed it. We needed this last dose of... Let's, because my, especially my house is all full of construction dust. Oh, okay. So yeah. this just washed away gracias. a lot of it. Muchas gracias. <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> this is your car, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. And cool thing is, uh, I don't know if I locked it, but yeah. So because the keys in my pocket, uh -huh. I just kind of press this button. And it oh, <laughs> that's fancy. That's good when you have a coffee in your hand. Oh, the door shut by itself too. I think gravity did that though. That wasn't like a feature. Wait, so, this is not sponsored by uh, by, by Nissan. Nissan. No, but right? maybe it should be. It should be right. Um, Nissan Vallarta. But you see, it's got these little uh, cameras uh, underneath the fisheye cameras underneath the le uh, the side view mirrors. Uh -huh. So it actually sees. I can oh. see where I, I can see where I am. Does it have one for the back right? Yeah. Well. Okay then. Why? Very good. Because that's where you always oh, hit used things. to, yeah. to no, drive so, into holes. So think about all those holes I've driven in. <laughs> yeah. Not gonna happen now. Yeah, this is perfect for you. So a little update on Paul's condos and cafes. Um, go, yeah, to the, go to the website and you can put the link in there and you can start following Paul's project. So as we kind of like do videos, yeah. I thought, well, as the project eventually breaks ground and or let's say we get the final drawings done then it uh -huh. breaks ground we can kind of do intermittent videos around that project and people then can go to the page your page mm -hmm. and see the updates because i i thought i would track the chronology of it yeah that's like, cool you know here's my paper napkin i put that on there you can download my first drawing uh -huh. that i just did on literally an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper with a pencil and then the first two drawings that came from the architect. And you'll Very see cool. kind of how 
your re- process, how right? the process actually works with uh-huh. me. And uh, yeah, I think I think that'll be fun. And you know what? You're pretty well sold out on that investment. I have uh, it's over subscribed, uh-huh. so it's going to be first come first serve at this point for the people who said I'm in. Uh-huh. And um, in the ranking that they've put their interest, sure, sure. they'll have like a day to submit the paperwork and right. And uh, also, um, my lawyer has the contract and he's working with the owner because what happened that was a lot of times this happens in Mexico like so someone inherits a property Uh and now the person they inherited it from is well they're no longer alive okay but they got to go through this whole power of attorney thing to do the final transfer of it yes so that's what was happening with this one even though we had a handshake agreement Uh we couldn't do anything Uh until this guy got the whole power of attorney thing straightened out so that's done so now they're actually writing up the contract and we should be able to sign it uh, any day now. Okay, perfect. So so it's happening. It's it's happening. And That's then, great. you know, here's Cuatro Estaciones. Yeah. Once we get that, you Recognize know, the yeah, art. yeah, get the restaurant here, get the cafe in your place. Like, we'll just keep doing that. Uh-huh. And then we'll have this like, well, it's already a cool area. Yes. But then it'll just become more dynamic. Right. And that will just attract more people to kind of like say, hey, look, this is a cool area. It's a cool area to live. Maybe right? I'll... I'll set up my little business here. Exactly. A cool little spot. Like here's a thing called Los Mangos. That's a little subdivision. It's super nice. Um, yeah. But there's all these new subdivisions just. Yeah, like this one's popping up here. Popping up, maybe. So. Emma goes to school right here. Oh, really? We just go down there. This road? Yeah, this road here. And okay. um, she goes to Waldorf. Another development popped up here. Another one there. Yeah. It's like... It's expanding. And so, here's Valle de Banderas. And usually we would just kind of cross this area and keep going. Uh Because I'm like, it doesn't look like much. But then we're going to turn in here. uh, And we'll see what we can find. And you have been in here before? I I do. I do. I ride through here now and go to this next town. Uh Uh-huh. And uh, called San Jose de Valle, uh-huh. and just kind of added, because we would never, we would just go do this out and back. So now I kind of made a loop out of it, okay. and it's a little more interesting for people when they're here. Sure, they go through a few different towns, and they're like, they can feel they've explored a little bit more, right? Yes. Yeah, I've never been in here, and I've been on all those cycling trips through <laughs> here with you, in the car. Yeah, but and we usually always keep going. We straight. never go through here. Oh. So. Close to it's Tope land, right? Yes, but you know, like the houses are really nice. So, if someone wanted to even buy something cheaper and willing to do a little bit of the commute, mm-hmm. you can come look at something out here. I'm sure you could buy a pretty nice size home, yeah. Um, I, and I, that look that uh, dog right there looked like it was half chihuahua, <laughs> half pug. Oh, yeah. So, if you want a half pug, half chihuahua, come on down and buy a day, Banderas. Yes. But this, this would this would be a complete change in lifestyle. Totally. Yeah. Like you're you're moving to a Mexican town here. Yeah. Like you the, you might not meet anyone who speaks English. You're probably right? not going to meet many people that speak English. I mean, yeah. there could be some of the younger people. Yeah. Uh, but generally speaking, this is Espanol. Yes. I'm just going to park there. Yeah. We'll be close enough where we can scream and yell if if they want to uh, give you a ticket or something. <clears throat> Well, here we are. I had yeah, to find we made some it. parking. We got chased away from our parking spot. Yeah, that uh, police officer, because we were like, hey, let's just park here. And even though it's yellow, there's some other guy parked here. Maybe yeah. it's okay. And then, but we were directly across the street from the police department. So they came out and they're like, and the lady said, ah, I have to do my job. And she walked really slowly <laughs> yeah. over and watched you drive away, and she didn't care. <laughs> Did so. she say anything to you? Yeah, she told me like that you can't park here because it's yellow. You have to go find a place where it's white. Oh, it's a nice little plaza, hey? Yeah. And they got all these um, statues with uh, the water fountain just turned off. And you know, you see a lot of these uh, throughout Mexico and and the world, hey? Like the gazebos. Yeah, in the town centers, and probably had to represent something, you know, prior to Christ even, right? Like there was some kind of center meeting spot. Mm. 
Yeah. So it's kind of cool. It is cool. And there's this beautiful iglesia yeah. right behind just it. behind it. Look at that. That's the real deal right there. Oh, oh yeah, it's got grass at the top. It's interesting. And look, they still have old school bells, like, you know, someone's gonna pull the string. I like the plants growing. <laughs> the only way that happens is birds fly up there, Yeah. go poop, and That's then, true. And away and then the goes. seeds are planted. Looks like there's two options right now. There's tacos de cabeza. Is that cabeza over there? Yeah. Okay. And then there's this one, but I, I, th I thought I was kind of gravitating to this one. Yeah, me too. Um, Carnitas. ¿Cómo estás? Hola, bien. ¿Qué tienes? Tenemos tacos, quesadillas, tortas, pellizcadas, de asada, de carnitas ¿Sí? de puerco, tortas de pierna de res. Una torta de pierna, por favor. Una torta de pierna con toda la verdura. Sí. Okay, ¿Y Tres tacos de carnitas. ¿De surtido o pura carne? Uh, like you want the fatty, fatty stuff in it or just the puro carne? Puro carne. Pura carne? Sí. Oh, you know what? I, went, I actually ordered a torta. That's okay. You ordered a torta? Did you want a torta? Well, that's kind of what I felt like this Taco <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> so you can eat the tacos yeah, today. Yeah. You be the Taco Tuesday I'll, guy. I'll be the Taco Tuesday So guy. when you see Paul on the street, say, hey, yeah. ta new Taco Tuesday guy. Yeah. Mm, okay, see. Oh, look at that. Wow, oh, yeah. look at these tacos. Gracias. That's gonna eat this, man. Esta salsa no tiene picante. Okay. okay. Esta pica mucho. Okay. okay. Esta pica más o menos y esta también no pica. Pica, okay. So this one's safe. So this is no pica. This is pica mucho. <laughs> That's very spicy. Yeah. This is kind of medium. That's like the green sauce. And then that is like a homemade tomato sauce, but they'll have. It Use the green chilies. It has some spice in there. Green chile. Cebolla. Cebolla. Gracias. There's plenty of cebolla. Like if you come here thinking you're not going to have enough cebolla, you're, you're you wrong. Give your head a shake. You're yeah. going to have cebolla. Come on. I'm yeah. going to do the taco. Yeah. So here's Paul. Like, he doesn't try ever to, get to do Try this. to live up to your standards. <laughs> he never gets I'm to do try, this. Taco trying. Muy rico. Muy rico. A one thumb up or a two thumb This up? is just one thumb. One thumb? Very good. But very good. Yeah. Good tortilla. Yeah. Handmade. Carne. Very moist. A little show and tell. Yeah, and like... Uh, it's still steaming. Nothing fancy, but they give you all the fixings I'm gonna, too, I'm gonna right? try this salsa too here. Well, that's the no pico. This is no, no pico, pica. but... No pico. You know, it's probably gonna have good flavor. Pureed tomato there. Yum. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Got there a good go, grip Paul. there. You picked correctly. Torta Tuesday, bro. Look at that. Like, is that a torta? That is. Or is that a torta? You know what? I'm, I'm gonna eat half this because you know who's gonna love this thing? My uh, daughter Adelaide. Adelaide. Well, you could all. They could do eggs, though. Oh my god. And what kind of meat did you get there? Asada? Cur yeah, it's like, um, no, it's car uh, pork. Pork, okay. Pulled looks, pork. That looks delicious. Oh, yeah, and you have to ask con todo. It's like, mm -hmm. comes with the jalapenos, everything. Fresh bread. Mm. All right, well, hey Paul, that was a nice surprise. Yeah, that was his very successful taco and torta hunt. Taco hunting. Torta Tuesday. Yes. Taco Torta Tuesday. Can you say that fast five times? <laughs> Try. Anyways, I, I definitely recommend um, hopping in your car one day and coming out to Valle de Manderas. Come to the town center and uh, go to the little taqueria right there on the corner. We'll put it on the map. Uh, but I don't know, like, I'm coming back. 
Yeah, you were like, I'm coming back for these these tortas specifically, <laughs> yeah. right? Specifically and, for the uh, torta. We ended up buying some para llevar. Para llevar. I was gonna bring half my torta to Adelaide, but it was too good, so I ate it all. So I got one uh, for her and uh, Jillian to share. Uh, oh, the bill because we asked for la cuenta, but they didn't bring us one. They just said it was three eighty, so less than twenty dollars, so nineteen bucks for five tortas, three tacos, and two drinks. Good deal. <laughs> hey, not bad. Not bad. All right, I guess on that note, Paul, are we ready to sign off from another Taco Torta Tuesday? Taco Torta Tuesday. <laughs> All right, everybody, until next Taco Tuesday, or actually this Saturday, nos vemos. Hasta luego and adios desde Valle de Bandera. <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> I kind of like uh, I kind of like uh, overheated there.